Hello and welcome to Monday Mail and Magazines. As you can see, we got a bit in the mail and of course, as always, a vintage magazine. This one has a 16-page pictorial of the best in street coupes and sedans, so stay tuned to that. As far as mail, we've got a few things in. We'll start back here. Put up a post looking for club plaques or just trying to figure out which kits had these club plaques in. And a gentleman reached out, said he had a little batch of them that he'd be willing to send me and certainly did do appreciate that joe if you do watch as well as the the plaques we even got some photocopied versions which is really cool got a, a nice supply for all my customs and hot rods i might even add one to the 50 ford so again thanks for that and over here coming in from a good friend of the channel of mine and that is tom Got a whole slew of parts he's been going through and that's what I was looking for. Wasn't really sure, but I said I would take any kind of trinkety type stuff. I think these like record players, TVs, any of them little little accessories that you can add to a build are just super neat. A uh, little out of the ordinary. I do appreciate it. I have to dig into these, see what's all in there. Got a few tires, some nice white wall slicks. Can always use those. Love me some white walls. And a body. He had a few of them there, so I decided to take one. Just in case I do a chop top, always have a spare or just get in a bad bad kit or something. I thought it would be nice to have a spare. But last but not least for the mail is the Fine Scale Modeler, the Contest Cars Special Edition Annual. Super excited to get this one. Lots of fantastic models inside. And super excited as the cover is a gentleman that was at the NNL North. Mr. Rod, he was one of the first ones to come up and speak to me there. I do appreciate it. He is a very nice gentleman and can build some absolutely stunning models, as you can see there on the cover. Seeing that in person, along with some of his others, was super sweet. I'm sure there'll be some other guys that uh, go through this magazine. If not, we can certainly flip through it like we did last year. We will see what happens. I'm sure a lot of guys will be showing off their models. It'll be nice to see... Familiar names, now that I'm in the hobby a little bit longer, more names are coming recognizable. So it's really cool to kind of see your friends and familiar familiar names inside. Really cool. Here's Gary Seeds, 56 Chevy. Lots of familiar models inside. Probably pick out a few familiar ones from many of the YouTubers around, as well as some of the Facebook guys that I know. And I obviously do have one marked, and that was for the, the NNL North there in May of 2023. And there's some beautiful rides there. I'm flip through these. I do have a video on the NNL North if you want to see more of these cars. And there is the cover car. Some more beautiful shots. It's an outstanding, outstanding car there rod and i got one that slipped into the magazine the my 59 el camino of course i got my name wrong even though they corrected it on the website but it is what it is cool to see a model in the magazine but again there is over 500 beautiful models inside uh, i'm sure again some other channels will show this if not we'll add it to our rotation here on monday mail and magazines well, we'll get back to the vintage stuff. Again, car craft, April of 1959, 16-page pictorial of the best coupes, street coupes and sedans. Some beautiful rides on the cover. It's a really cool one down there. Some beauties. Getting in. Always lots of cart action, cart parts. Getting in, shopping around, we got a quarter midget trailer. It's one of those old school trophies. So cool. Better than just the 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 boring old trophies. Racing steering wheel. We got some connecting rods. Little club plaque. Oh, that's looking 50 olds. No. 40 Ford. Come along. I don't think this one's as jam-packed as last week's is, but there's still some goodies inside. 
Yeah, Hot Rodding's Master of Ingenuity, Howard Johansson of Breaks Tradition and Records with the new double load dragster, the Don Francisco, a little twin engine monster there. That is Howard of Howard's Racing Cams. Pretty cool. Showing off the dragster there at the 58 Nationals in Oklahoma City. A couple of different variations going on. Pretty cool to see these early days gas powered, no nitro cars. Talking about the fabricated front drives, lightweight front ends, how they are coupled. Pretty cool there. Pretty nice shot there of the flywheels. There is the, the cockpit, if you will. Some more shots of that. All the power, short wheelbase by today's standards, that's for sure. Has an offset left for the drive shaft. Kind of a neat little look to it. Sam Lads Ford proves radical customizing isn't necessary to set a stunning style. We've seen this one before, or maybe I've just got it. As a reference, when I was doing my 50 Ford, because of the taillights, got some kind of canned taillights. That's kind of the, the reference look I was going for. That angled rear lights on mine. Lots of great stuff. Those are 53 Studebaker lenses, 55 Pontiac split bumpers. Kind of a cool look there. And we got our restyling. Valley Custom restyles the 57 Thunderbird. We have been doing 59s, but we went back a couple years to the 57. Nice drawings. And that tail end is all 59 Buick, that's for sure. So using a lot of Buick parts, the 59 stuff for customizing. And as always, just under the $1,000 mark. Quick shifts. New conversion kits make it easy to switch from column shift to floor shift. Seen a lot of advertisements. Now we're doing a nice kind of in-depth article. A little how to, how to assemble, how to apply. And getting into the beauty and power combined in this select array of coupes and sedans. Starting off with the yellow one on the cover. Let you soak in that color as we look through. 26 Ford Model T body on a 31 Chevy frame. Chassis is narrowed 6 inches in the rear to allow fitting of the body. 26 Ford fenders are run up front while the 23 Ford rear fenders are used on the rear of the rod's body. Color is yellow, lemon yellow lacquer. Yeah, pleated and rolled interior. 820 by 15 tires. So we got under the hood, he's got a 55 Buick power plant, which runs stock except for 9.5 to 1 compression. Set of headers, engine is well chromed. Check out those little baby radiator fans, electric fans. Kind of neat. Mr. Phil Sweets. Awesome looking 32 Ford. Hopefully a fan of the way this one looks. I like that kind of black and white scalloping. Pretty cool look. And under the hood, we've got a 54 Cadillac Eldorado engine. Pretty cool. Looks pretty good. Of course, nice pie crust, white walls. Multicolored Naga Hide interior. Cool stripage. Great looking 32. This one's Mr. Ed Ross. Got a red enamel paint is enhanced by white Naga hide top. Interior has black and white scheme carried by out by Martinez upholstery of Bell, California. Car was built by owner Roth. Undershot. Got some chrome there. Ed Ross 30 Ford sedan shows why it's a trophy winner. Shocks are 49 Ford pickup. 
front axle far right liberally bestriped firewall does not distract from the warmed up 50 olds engine rothed engine swap on the sedan good looking model a jerry berg specialty auto rebuild he is 34 ford some of my favorites i like the 33s and 34s that kind of v-plow front end a great look there top was chopped three and a half inches great look on the back side lime gold coupe with emerald green scallops sits with mild rake produced by unequal sized tires 820s aft 670s forward smooth contours of the body given further enhancement by absence of little eye catchers which break the line of vision and sometimes distract the car's overall beauty and shape proportions check that interior that pleated dash pretty cool And under the hood, got a little baby Hemi, 279 DeSoto, Isky cam, push rods, lifters, Jans, pistons, we in carb. L's at Al Ray Auto Service, another 32, or 32 grill. What is it, is it? It's a 31 Ford Coupe with a 32 grill. Okay. Section, but left stock height, channeling the body seven inches lowered the overall height considerably, but in the interest of comfort, the top remains stock height. Fifty-three Pontiac taillights are used on the rear. Cycle type fenders, actually station wagon spare wheel covers. Huh, pretty cool. Is it striped interior? And he's running a 56 Olds Mill. Very cool. Kind of like that with the, the full size top. Here we have Andy from Marty's Custom Shop. Got another little baby Hemi Fire Dome. 54 DeSoto engine mill is also bored over 92. Nine and a half to one. A dual ignition. That's a good look. I love a Vicky. It's a good looking car. 32 Ford Vicky. Before much of the custom work. A sharp looking car. Top has chopped a total of four inches. Remainder of body is stock. Rake is achieved through 40 Ford front end with the good axle 34 ford rear with reverse spring eyes 40 ford steering brakes also used 32 ford dash full of s and w gauges 40 ford steering and a lincoln trans really cool checkered grills adapting 58 buick grills is the easy route to a custom front end kind of that dotted pattern Used in a 56 Chevy. It's kind of like a straight tube grill. Just kind of works on all of them. Really good look there. Trim to fit. Quarter Midget Championships. Those look smaller than quarter midgets. Dang, they're tiny. Some youngsters in their leathers. Sweet looking rides. Flames and scallops. No, what's your problem? Getting to the, the end of her. Like I said, there wasn't as much going on in this one, but still got to go through her. 
What's your problem? Go karts. Oh, that's Charlie. More on the double load dragster. Quick shifts. Fuel injection conversion. And of course, we gotta see our girl on the rear. This is Miss Pat Harris. Do holding the clutch for that little Chrysler fire, fire dome. Nice shot. And that'll wrap it up for Carcraft April of 1959. Thanks to Tom and Joe for the gifts in the mail. Go check out the Fine Scale Modeler Contest Cars. Again, we'll see if anybody else shows off the magazine. If not, we will go through it again on the channel. But until then, we'll see you next time.